Ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, let me quickly introduce myself. Thank you very much, Mike. Thanks for having me. Uh, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Henning. I'm the German comedy ambassador. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. There you go, lovely. Uh, that is tip-top engineering there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, no, it's, I mean, it's, it's very, very unusual for me to be on stage here in Hastings because, as they say, uh, don't shit on your own doorstep. <laughs> uh, I, I moved to Hastings back in 2018, essentially two years after the Brexit vote, because I said, well, let's move to the coast so I can get out more easily if I have to. <laughs> German boat can come and rescue me. <laughs> I will be known as a reverse Dunkirk. And, <laughs> you know, but then uh, Mike asked so kindly, uh, uh, doing something here this evening, and I thought, well, in many ways, it saves me a lot of, of hassle. Because people always ask me, what is the difference between Christmas in Germany and Christmas in Britain? And I would say, the main difference is, in, 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 in Germany, Christmas is a seasonal event. <laughs> <laughs> and there's only two key dates. One is uh, December the 24th, is the day when we hand over the presents. And then the other important date is December the 6th, is Nikolaus Tag. That is the day when Nikolaus, Santa's assistant, when he goes wrong and checks everyone's paperwork. <laughs> And if, for whatever reason, that isn't quite in order, they're given an 18-day extension to fulfil the annual performance target, and uh, then you're getting the presents along with everyone else. Whereas, in Britain, in Britain it really is the 12 months of Christmas, isn't it? It always starts in January, with the nationwide recall, <laughs> of whatever the most popular children's toy was at Christmas. <laughs> it turns out the factory in Hong Kong accidentally filled it with razor blades and mustard gas. <laughs> Mistakes happen. Uh, <laughs> and January the 6th, as we all know, January the 6th is traditionally the day when anything ordered at the beginning of December with Amazon turns up. <laughs> On January the 12th is when British people traditionally eat the last quality street and vow to never ever eat another one of them horrible things ever again. <laughs> January the 14th is Dead Tree Day. <laughs> uh, the day when British people leave their deceased Christmas trees in the street <laughs> in the naive expectation someone else will deal with them. In January, also lower class people start paying into a Christmas club <laughs> in the hope their children won't be as disappointed with next Christmas <laughs> as they were with the last one. In February, the pedals full of any children's bike bought at Halfords. <laughs> Tramps outside Tesco feast on boxes of expired mince pies. <laughs> In March, everyone finally gives up trying to find out what happened to all the presents that went missing in the past. <laughs> and this leads to great shopping opportunities in April, as Britain's postmen get bored with the stuff they nicked and put it all on eBay. <laughs> Another very important month in the British Christmas calendar is May. <laughs> As in May, Simon Cowell decides which dollop of shite is going to be the Christmas number one. <laughs> <laughs> then, Christmas festivities take a short summer break in June, July and August, before it all starts up again in September. Another very important date in the British Christmas calendar is September the 20th. The date by which everyone in Britain has sort of a watertight excuse not to spend Christmas with their family. <laughs> and people on the BBC News start moaning that we're not doing enough Christmas shopping. Bad news for the high street. 
Then in October, culturally neutral decorations appear in town centres. They're not very jolly, but young women coming out the tiger tiger can see where they're pissing for the first time this year. <laughs> Even worse news for the high street. We are still not doing enough Christmas shopping. And in November, November is the month when lower class people traditionally discover that the Christmas club treasurer <laughs> has disappeared. With all the money. Forcing them to spend Christmas with their families. <laughs> The high street is facing disaster. There's been almost no Christmas shopping. Everyone should feel very ashamed of themselves. But then in December, the whole nation finally gets round to Christmas shopping, spending millions on Amazon and other multinational entities that make zero tax contribution. Everyone chooses next day delivery. Town centre violence escalates as Britain starts getting in a Christmassy mood. <laughs> Something horrible happens in the news ten days before Christmas, ensuring we must all spare a sword on the day for some poor fucker. <laughs> Churches fill up with drums, but I like here tonight. <laughs> Churches fill up with drums, Christmas arrives, a national wave of disappointment and regret sweeps the nation. <laughs> Suicide rate triples. Even the Samaritans end up calling the Samaritans. <laughs> and then from January the 1st, the whole palaver again, another year as a declining world power beckons. 